pew 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 Hi, and welcome to Small Screen. Today, I've got some pretty hot news for you guys, and it's all to do with Disney, and specifically how creators within the company are not happy with Bob Chapek. But before getting into all of that, if you could give us a little like and a subscribe, that would be great. Right, onto the details of this news. It seems as though creators inside of Disney are not pleased at all with the direction that Bob Chapek is taking the company. So, Chapek is the new president of Disney, having taken over from Bob Iger, and he's bringing in a lot of changes that are messing with the way things have been run at Disney for quite some time. So, Disney has gone through what can only be described as an era of incredible prosperity, and that all happens with Bob Iger at the helm. He was someone who always put creators first and did everything he could do to remove as much red tape for them as possible. He's also the man who oversaw the acquisitions of Pixar, Marvel Studios, Lucasfilm, and most recently 20th Century Fox. Iger is, in many ways, the reason why Disney is where it is today, at the top of the food chain in Hollywood and pretty much the entire world. And he did all of this by making sure his creators were happy and that they were making the best and most profitable movies they could make. Well, that's all starting to change with the era of Chapek. Before I get into what the source had to tell us, uh, go and check out our previous video where we covered this feud and where it all started, specifically Kevin Feige versus Bob Chapek. You can go and check that video out by clicking on the card at the top right of this video or by clicking the link in the description. Okay, so on with it. Here's what our source with very, highlight that very James, close ties to Disney had to say. Disney as a company is doing very well. However, it's in turmoil as far as the creators are concerned creators who've had long-standing relationships with Disney and the likes of Bob Iger are not happy with the direction that Bob Chapek is taking the company. It's actually getting quite bad for them and there are grumblings from the likes of Pixar that they just want out of the House of Mouse, but that's virtually impossible for them now. There's a lot of infighting between Chapek and his team, who has the shareholders on their side, mostly, and the creators, people at Pixar, Marvel Studios, Walt Disney Animation Studios, and now also 20th Century Fox. It doesn't look like this rift will be fixed anytime soon, and Scarlett Johansson's lawsuit has caused a stir. So there's quite a lot to unpack there. First, one of the main takeaways has to be that the era of Bob Chapek has begun, and it's begun badly, as far as creators are concerned. I can't overstate that enough. It seems not many people are paying attention to the reign of Bob Chapek. Chapek is clearly thinking merchandising first and content second. Content, the most overused word of our time. Creators at Disney have been put at the very back of the queue and that's evident for all to see. Scarlett Johansson's lawsuit against Disney for the release of Black Widow on Disney Plus is evidence of that. Chapek's Disney does not care about its creators and its creatives. I'm also I'm also pretty sure that this must be making Bob Iger absolutely insane. Also, our source spoke of Pixar, and Pixar has easily been the studio inside of Disney that's been hit the worst by Chapek's new direction. Their movies, which are huge money spinners for Disney, have been released on Disney Plus for free. And that is insane to me, since Pixar's films have made a ludicrous sum of money at the box office for Disney. They are family films and are bound to make a bomb at the box office. Why release them for free on Disney Plus? It's a clear slap in the face as far as I'm concerned to Pixar. Unfortunately, there is no way that Pixar will be able to free themselves of Disney. It would just be too expensive to acquire Pixar and I doubt that Disney would even want to let them go. So all of this is pure and utter madness to me. It's insane to think that Disney's new president is just thinking about how much money Disney can make out of such things as Disney Plus, merch and the parks. Those are his three main priorities moving forward and they are the wrong ones. Iger was all about content. He then ended up being the president of one of the world's most valuable companies. And Chapek is all about product, merchandising, merch, and streaming. Will this result in Disney being at the top of the Hollywood food chain in 10 years time? Well, only time will tell, but as it stands, if this complete disregard for creators, then I doubt Disney will be the powerhouse it was up until 2019. But what do you make of this? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching this and don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the bell because YouTube's gods demand it. And also our social media game is on point and you can find us everywhere at Small Screen Co. Thanks guys and goodbye. Pew 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 pew.